Hey guys, so I just got a package in the mail. I feel like I'm on Blue's Clues, seriously, but I just got my Makeup Geek order, and if I do say so, finally is the word that comes to mind. I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, but it did feel like this took way too long. I think it took exactly two weeks from the time I placed the order to getting it in my hands, which knowing that this was a relaunch of a brand, I kind of get that it's like, hey guys, sorry, we're still getting things figured out. And I'm pretty impatient when I place an online order. I am definitely that person that's like at the window the minute I hit checkout. And so I've been tracking this damn order for two weeks straight. So it's finally here. So I thought that I would just open this on camera and see how everything comes packaged, do like a little unboxing video, get my first impressions on like the swatches and stuff like that. Sorry I look like trash. This is literally like my dad's shirt that I stole a long time ago but we're gonna get into this right now. What I ordered was the nine pan, like little magnetic palette with nine different shadows. So I kind of like made my own palette and I heard specifically when you do it that way, the packaging can be kind of excessive because they're sending you a little like container for each shadow and stuff like that. So we're gonna see. So this is what it looks like here. And then it has like another tissue thing here. Ooh. Another little tissue thing here. Here is the actual Makeup Geek palette. Really pretty, looks nice. We're gonna look at that further. And then I have just plain tissue paper. So, so far at least, it doesn't seem like too excessive of packaging. Like there was a lot of tissue paper, but it doesn't seem like, oh my God, plastic on plastic on bubble wrap, you know, tons of it wrapped around every single item. This seems like, pretty minimal. Okay, so three shadows here. They are each in little individual packaging, but I kind of understand that because who knows who's ordering what, you know what I mean? It's not like they could just put these in the palette for me. And I'm guessing they have to come in these little protective things in order to protect them. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I have the nine shadows here. So I'll show you one of them. This is how they come. Cute packaging. Again, these are the individual magnetic shadows. As you can see in the back here, it shows the shade name. So here's the palette here. This is plastic, which I guess is not necessary, but okay. So this is what the palette looks like. It's mirrored. It doesn't feel too heavy. This is plastic, which I'm okay with, especially since I plan on having this for most of my life. Like if this isn't something I'm gonna throw away. I did not expect this actually. There's a really big, nice mirror in here. The shadows that I picked are specifically shadows that I feel like I could use every single day. I am actually gonna be traveling a lot more this year specifically for my job. So I wanted a palette that I could put in my travel makeup bag and not have to bring a single other palette. Just be like, good to go, I have everything, I love all these shades. And I thought that a little nine pan would give me enough shadows to have some variety, but still be small enough to where I'm not lugging around like a huge 35 pan palette, you get what I'm saying. So let's go ahead and put these shadows in here. So I wanna set these up from lightest to darkest in the pan. So the first shadow that I'm going to be pulling out is obviously the lightest. This is the shade So Pale. That's what it looks like there. The next shade is in Creme Brulee. I've actually had the shade, I think I still have the shade from the old Makeup Geek brand. Then we have the shade Tuscan Sun. I've never had this one before. I don't know if I mentioned, but I've never had So Pale either. Then we have this one, which is Had Me At Yellow, which I think the name is kind of deceiving because even though you could say like, well, it's a yellow toned brown, like it's not very yellow at all. So it's more of like a camel color. Then we have Cheetah Bear, which is the same or supposed to be the same as Coco Bear, which is what it was named with the old Makeup Geek collection. This one is called Getting Figgy With It, which is supposed to be kind of like a fig-ish color, I guess. It's kind of like a mauve brown. 
Ooh, that's looking good. Then we have this one. This is called Berry Shady. I wanted to add kind of like a, obviously like a little berry tone because I like working with warm reddish berry tone shadows. Next is Chocolate Wasted. I couldn't remember if I picked this one up or not. This is just like, looks like a very chocolatey brown rich color. And lastly, we have this one in Give Me the Dirt. Looks like a super, a little bit more cool toned brown. Really deep though. Ooh, that looks really pretty. I thought this would be good for padding on top of a liner or even just by itself as a liner. So this is what we have right now for the palette. So when you pick out these shadows on the Makeup Geek website, you kind of like drag colors or select colors that will go in each slot. So when I ordered this, I was very specific about which shadow I put in slot one, slot two, slot three, because I thought it was going to come pre-made like that. If I would have known that they were just gonna come as an empty blank palette with no sections, no slots, and then just individual shadows, I wouldn't have been so like concerned with how the palette was laid out, but that's not a big deal. I also did not know that the palette was going to come completely just like empty with no little sections. In a way, that's a good thing because if I one day want to take out some of these and put in a round shadow from another brand or an old Makeup Geek shadow that used to be round, then I can do that and it's not gonna not fit in this pan because you know, you get what I'm saying. So anyways, I do, I guess, in the long run, kind of like that it's just like empty square. Also, if I wanted to take out most of the shadows, just leave a couple and put a blush in there or a contouring shade, I have a magnetic contouring shade that I could throw in there. I have a little bit more freedom than if it was like, no, this pan only fits makeup geek shadows. You know what I'm saying? So in the long run, that's good. Again, I'm very impressed with the mirror like this, especially since I'm gonna be using this palette for traveling, also when I'm home, but for mostly traveling is why I purchased it. I will enjoy having such a nice, like high quality mirror at my disposal right with these shadows. I so far like the look of the shadows that I bought. I tried to do, you know, shades that I would like to wear all the time. And now let's go ahead and swatch them. So this one is called So Pale, almost matches my skin tone. It's like, it has a yellow undertone and it's like a very nice vanilla shade would be the perfect word for it. This one is creme brulee. This one feels like good quality, but you do have to build it up. It's also a lighter shade, but I do did have to build that up like three times to get that level of pigmentation, but it will be a transition shade, so I'm not really worried about that that much. This is called Tuscan Sun. Ooh, that one's pigmented. That looks really nice. That'd be a really pretty transition sh shade as well. This is Had Me At Yellow. That's pretty. That's a really nice shade. This is Cheetah Bear. Nice color, love red-brown. This one is Getting Figgy With It. They feel pretty soft. They feel like good quality just by touching them. This one is Berry Shady. Ooh. It's a nice, like, soft cranberry shade. Here is Chocolate Wasted. And here is Give Me the Dirt. So I think the swatches look pretty good. I will say like the shade, the last shade give me the dirt. I was expecting to be a little bit more like boom, like really rich and almost like wet looking just because it's so dark. I will have to try these on my eyes and let you guys know what I think. But as far as just swatching goes, they do look like good shadows. Like if I swatched these in a store, I would be tempted to pick them up. I will show you like, see this shade? Maybe I just, the way like it's swatched, 
but it looks a little bit like grainy. Like it doesn't feel grainy. It feels very soft, but see how it like went on my wrist? I don't know. It just looks a little bit weird, but also maybe like I had something on my skin. <laughs> I don't know. So we'll have to see how that one goes. That's the only one that looks a little like weird. It doesn't look perfectly smooth, but who knows what the problem is there. But anyways, that is my Makeup Geek purchase. I so far really like it. I will let you guys know, especially in like a favorites video, if I really do use these shadows a lot, if I like them, how they perform. I'm excited to use them and create some looks. If you guys want me to create a look or looks with this palette, just so you can see what I come up with, what I create, if you're also interested in these shades, then I'd be happy to do that. Just let me know in the comments. Other than that, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up so it can help my channel reach all of the other viewers out there. I appreciate you being here and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.